Perfect Love, I really wanted to, I wanted to put that record out because I felt like I had all these souls that were already attached to me from being the, the old Jeannie Ortega. And I wanted to just, I wanted it to be a real record about being a, a person before being, you know, a Christian or, or anything. I wanted it to be about being a person who struggles and goes through all these things, but has this hope in Christ to get through. And just perfect love is about, you know, conquering your fears and, and overcoming all these insecurities from who you are to where you're going. And this record, I wanted it to be that. I wanted it to be kind of the icebreaker in the Christian world, but to also be the record that drew, draws all those other souls that I had attached to me to him. That was really important to me, you know. God had given me a gift and I went out there and, and I did my thing and in return I had all these people that were looking to see what I was gonna do next. And I didn't wanna lose those souls because I came from that place and I wanted them to see, look what God has done now. So that really was my goal for Perfect Love. I saw him at the church too and I was just very interested. I didn't know who this new guy was. And it was just something about him though, seriously. And I'm not even the type of girl that she's like, eh. But I, there was something about him I could not keep. It was just like, I just get, get, kept getting pulled his way. And I was just like, all right, God, what is this? Yeah, the rest is history. <laughs> just watching her was pretty amazing. I didn't know that she was a singer to begin with when we first met. You know, she didn't let me know. We had a couple of weeks of just, just genuinely being together with each other, but getting watching to know her. each other. I didn't want him to know, you know, my past. Exactly. And, you know, basically, I went from like just realizing that she was a secular artist, knowing that she has gifts and talents, and now that she's using it for the Lord, I think it's even more wonderful, and it's just great to see her do her thing for God. Well, watching my hubby up there on stage, and it's just so awesome because, you know, I kind of encouraged him to do it. I don't think he was like there, you know, he's just more like, I'll be a pastor and, you know, fly airplanes for a living. <laughs> but I noticed he had a gift and, you know, God says, when you have a gift, don't bury it. And I wasn't about to have him bury that. I was like, that's amazing. Like, people would love that. So watching him is just like, you know, watching like a proud mom. He's like, oh, look at my baby go. It's really something else. And you know, he's now coming into his own as an artist and I really, I really enjoy it. There was one thing that I would, a message that I would have for everyone is love. You know, I've been in so many situations in my life and and I don't just mean the love that we throw around, like, oh, I love you, girl, I love you, you know, not that. A love that is unbreakable. You know, the love that keeps, that keeps me perfect, his perfect love. You know, there's times where I've been so broken and hopeless, and the love of God has kept me and the only reason why I've been able to tap into that love is because I've drawn, you know, I drew close to him. And my message is, draw close to God. Because in him, everything else is perfected. You know, I lived the life that I thought that I wanted. I fulfilled the dreams that I had for myself. But I was still broken and empty. And it wasn't until I knew the love of God and I embraced it, that I realized why I was made. And I know as people, we all are sometimes faced with, what, where's my life going? Or, what am I supposed to do in this world? And then when we're so broken, we're just like, I don't wanna be here anymore, I hate this life. But the love of God will keep you. It's kept me, it's kept me through, <laughs> through things that I didn't even think I was strong enough to endure. So love, real love, not the, the world love, but perfect love, love that comes only from Christ Jesus, the love that died on the cross for our sins, but rose again. Now,